I just want to, like, give it to me rough. <laughs> like, let's do it. <laughs> Gotta let the shoulder a little bit more. Okay. The vibration will make you basically scream. Make it hurts a little. Hmm. You want to hang around for the rest of this video because we have got some of the most insane and powerful chiropractic adjustments from some of your favorite chiropractors with super clear cracks. We post every single day. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. Up next, we have Dr. Brent Binder. Rough, like, let's do it. <laughs> Right or left? Um, a little bit more on the right. Okay, let's check the motion here. Lean back into my fingers. Good, come back. Pain there? Um, no, not that bad. Okay, I'm gonna test the SI joint. Okay. Just kind of come back like this. Pain there on my thumb? Um, can you do it again? Um. It's not bad. It's you, you would feel it. It would, yeah. it would be obvious. Okay, open. Close. Just the right leg. Just the right leg. Good. Close. All right, so we've got movement on the left, but not as much movement on the right here. It feels like it's actually more rotated than it is curved. Mm -hmm. Did they take x-rays of it when you were a kid? No, it was just kind of like a quick like thing. Nothing was really done about it or said about it. Am I doing it right? Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> okay, we have more rotation on the right side here. The right ilium is moving, but the left side remains flat. Okay, stop. You're going to feel my fingers on the back of your legs. Okay. I'm going to trace this up to your glutes. So the right side is lower, saying it's potentially gone uh, posterior and inferior. The left side is higher, meaning it rotated anterior or superior. I'm looking from the top view. The right side is more rounded, which means it's gone EX. So P I E X. A-S-I-N, potentially. All right, let's do Adam's sign. And then, if this can be visualized, I'm not sure, but the left side is just a little bit higher than the right side. Okay, go ahead and stand up. It's so exciting, and now what's gonna suck is like, whenever I crack myself, it's gonna like, like you're gonna ruin me from me doing it myself. Good. <laughs> All right, let's do this now. I'm gonna test your lumbar spine. So what I'm gonna need you to do, keeping your knees straight, Lift this leg in the air. Good, down. Left. Down. Which side is easier? Uh, I think left. Tender? Very. More than this side? On the right side is a lot worse. Good, let it all sink in, let it all go. Yeah, this is great. And out. All right, so let your shoulders relax. Good. And breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good. Let this come down. Good. Side like this. Good. Just like that. Let this all go. the slouch good just like that good keep breathing Ooh. i do julia is bring it down like this and then we'll push in that direction okay 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 same thing deep breath in and out good oh my heavens Hoo -hoo -hoo. that was something on oh, your back feel... now turn your head to the left Bring your right ear down to your right shoulder. Bring your left ear to your left shoulder. Tuck your chin to your chest. So we're dropping, just letting it go. Let me do all the work. Good, okay, take a deep breath in through your nose. Now through your mouth. Okay, so let's test the left side here. Just let your shoulders and head to sink in. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, every way. single one of them almost. Yeah. We're going to have to find the most important one. Ooh. 
All right, let the head relax here, that's good. Okay, nice soft breath in through your nose and out. Good. I think I'm paralyzed. <laughs> Move your toes. <laughs> no. That's not nearly as intense as when I do it myself. Or, I mean, like, that was more intense. And I'm gonna lift your head like this, good. And then I'm gonna stretch it in this direction, lift again, and then pull it like that, okay? I already felt some give there. Hmm, I felt that. I'm gonna open your jaw. All the way. Close. Open slowly. Close. All right, push your jaw to the right. All right, close your eyes. Ooh. That was life changing. Wow. Okay, open. Close. Push to the left. Push your jaw to the left. Now, how's that feel? Much better. All right, go ahead. You got any more cracks in there? Let's see. Go ahead. How do you do it? I know this is weird, but I'll do this too. <laughs> That's awesome. Or... Ooh. Okay. Just kind of let this relax. That's good. Okay, hold your knees together. Hold them together. Oh, okay. Okay, hold them together. Hard. Hold them hard. That was like up through here. Yeah, all this heat in the right shoulder blade area, That's right so scapular. Weird. There's a little bit of a rotation here on the right side. All right, so we're gonna measure the glute fibers first. Just, that's good right there. You're gonna feel my fingers on the back of your hamstrings, okay? We're gonna trace this up to the top of the glute folds. You're slightly lower on the right. Very sturdy. You just have this very slight, it's not a curvature. But like it's almost like your hips are off center. Just a little. all right, nice little traction. No, no, just relax. Just oh, like sorry. Do, just you just fall into the table. Okay. Just let me do this. There you go. Okay, how's this tender? Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Pink in, there you go, all the way in. Good, you got any more relax in there or what? Uh -huh. There it is. Oh. And out through your mouth. I'm gonna follow your breath down like this and just kind of like sink in at the end of your breath. We give a little push like that, okay? okay. Sink in, let it go, let it go, gentle. Good, and then out. And then at the top of your breath is where we'll push. Try not to like stress your shoulders so much while you're breathing in, okay. just breathe in and go all the way in. Good, now let your shoulders sink as you breathe out. I'm gonna bring your hips down like this, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna push like that, okay? Sure. Okay, breathing in and out. Good, shoulders relaxed. Good, that's perfect, Leah. One more breath in, out. Good, let it sink in here, good. Oh. Here. Good, and out. Good, let the shoulder a little bit more. Good, over here, let it drop. Good, nice and gentle. Let this go, let your shoulders relax. Sinking in, I'm gonna bring this over. We're gonna come to right about here and then push like that, okay, Leah? Okay. Okay, breathe. Good. Good, let it go, let it drop. There you go. Then <laughs> six, five, it's all here, it's six, five. Okay, now let your head drop. Gentle little push here with your breath, moving softly, gently. Let it go. Nice and gentle.
Look straight up. Okay, so this is how we adjust the hip. I'm going to pull in that direction, okay? Sure. So push straight up in the air. And out. Good. <gasps> did you hear that one? I did. Okay. <laughs> wow. I've never had that done before. Mm -hmm. <sighs> um, bring your shoulder blades back together. Good look up at the ceiling. We're gonna bring this back as much as you can. Good. Okay, open your jaw halfway. Okay, and push your jaw to the right against my hand. No, no, to the right. Now push it to the left. Do that, can you make it crack? Do that again. And I hear it on this side too. All right, so the tone starts up here in the top left. A little bit increased activity. Nice and even all the way down until we get to the lumbar spine on this side, which is just a little bit warmer. Okay, so let's see what's going on in the sacrum here. Yeah, that hurts. Okay, so it's tender here. This is S1. I'm going to put my hands on your hips to locate the lumbar spine, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, L4, L5, S1. So this is the fourth, fifth lumbar vertebra. So, like where you're pushing. Okay, here, pain. Not as much. Not as much. So S1, S2, now right side. Pain there? Mm -mm. Pain here? No. Good. Pain here? Mm -mm. The, so there's one more other spot here. Is that tender? Yeah. Okay, not so much on the right though. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and stand up for me. Okay. And face that way. This way? Yep. And bruise? I don't want to bruise. Okay, there. It was like big black and blue, now it's fine, I think, but it was... Okay, so it, this whole thing, right? This here. was scraped the whole way down, but pretty much chill. But yeah, this is like just green, a little bit of purple. It was literally like... Okay. So we want to even out your pants so it doesn't throw off the angle. Okay. But there's a little bit of dropping here on the right, and the left is raising up. And so watching the feet is a little bit different. Okay, stop walking here. And it's just about perfectly even right here. Looking from the top angle, it's slightly more elevated on the left, which means mm -hmm. this would be going EX and this would... All right, Kayla, here's what we're gonna do. A nice normal walk this way towards me, okay? Yeah, yeah right towards me, towards the camera. All right, looking at the feet first, we've got some crossover happening there. Go back the other way. Turn no, no, turn, yeah, turn around, yep. All right. Okay, so the feet are moving over. Go all the way down, all the way down. Walk a little bit faster. You can see. No. Okay, keep coming. Just walk normal. <laughs> Do my short legs look like I've walked a runway? <laughs> and your toes pointed inward. Yeah. Okay. Alright, coming up to the hips. Sorry, my leg. <laughs> swing looks pretty even. A little bit more shoulder swing on the right. Turn around this way. Alright, that's good. How's it feel when you walk? You no. feel it in your tailbone? Uh, no. Well, the only place I feel in my tailbone when I've noticed, like, I've been able to kind of, the first couple of days I really couldn't move. Then I was able to walk, and now it's just like, if I bend over to a certain point, it hurts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so we're going to see what your spine feels like laying down. Because it sometimes tells a little bit different story. All right, now, a little bit more gentle coming down into the lumbar spine. Do you feel a difference between the left or the right here? Uh-uh. Here. Good. Down. Okay, now left. Down. Okay, one more right. Down. Hold on, we have to do that one again. Just let your back fully relax. There you go. Okay, right. Down. All right, so let's take a look at the legs. Bring this up here. Okay, a right short crosses over to become a right long. Everyone has a one leg shorter than the other. That's right now. Okay, lift your right hip up just a little bit. Go down. Go left hip up just a little bit. Down. Points here in the glutes. It's good. I'm going to do a test with a tuning fork, okay? And so mm -hmm. basically you're going to hear me hit the tuning fork and then I'm going to place it on top of your tailbone. Pain? Mm -hmm. You'll jump off the table, okay? 
the vibration will make you basically scream. I get hers a little, I don't, but not a lot. You would know. Yeah. Nothing, right? Yeah. Good. We'll just test the L5. All right, so same thing again. Deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Good, and just kind of sink in, let it all go. All right, you have a very flexible upper thoracic spine here. Yeah, let it go. Oh. And then this one forward just a little bit, okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna follow your breath, and as you breathe out, we're just gonna stretch. Good, gentle, gentle. Good. And you're back. This is the other side. Okay, lay on your side, face the other way. Do you crack your own back? Uh, sometimes, yes. That's like the only thing that cracks on my body because I feel like I'm double joint. Like my fingers don't crack, like yeah. nothing. But in the morning, ah, I wake up and okay. I go like this sometimes, uh -huh. and sometimes. But... Forward again. Through your nose, and out. Good. Shoulders relaxed. Good. We're gonna bring this down a little further. Oh. <laughs> when you say like, mm hmm, I can't tell if you're being serious or being sarcastic. No, no, mm -hmm. it's serious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hard. And out. Good. Sinking in. Let your shoulders relax a little bit more. Good. Oh, yeah. Lay your back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, get off the table. I mean, get up off the table. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's take it for a test drive. Go ahead and walk to that side of the room and then walk back to this side of the room. I feel weird. Is it weird if I say I feel hot right now? No, no, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> no, like I really do. Like, like I feel like. Did you say high or high? High, like. Oh, yeah, uh -huh, that's actually Like really a good. natural high, like I feel, that's I don't right. know, relaxed and really weird. <laughs> awesome. okay. It doesn't hurt as bad. One more time, keep going, go down, bend your, yeah, and then come back up. That was my short okay. We're gonna get there. Deep belly breathing in, out. Now do a belly breath. Fill your belly up with air. There you go. Out. Not comfy? Okay, let this relax. Let your shoulder relax. Oh! Here. Okay. Tender. Mm -hmm. Okay, breathe in through your nose. Good, and out. Breathe into your belly. Fill your belly up with air as you breathe in. Good. Out. This is what you need to be cracking on yourself, your ileus sequel valve. Same thing, find your belly button and your hip bone, right? Okay. Connect the line right into the middle, and then usually go straight down from there. Yours is a little bit more inferior or further down. Okay. Not so bad, right? Mm -mm. Does that feel better? Yeah, it does. What's the snake mean? Uh, it represents loss of innocence. Okay, let this relax. See if you can do it to that one. Are you impressed? I am, dude. That's <laughs> that's deep. They say that it has to do with writer's block or something like that. But, it, but like some people will say like if you're having like writer's block or like, and I don't know, something like stuck or it's good to crack it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm. Did you just get tingles? Yeah. Okay, look straight ahead. Let me see your tongue. Clean it off and then let me see it again. Clean it off? Yeah, like just like take all the saliva off of it. Okay. There's some candida going on on your tongue. 
and it would help significantly in all aspects of your life if you did a sugar cleanse. Um, 14 days, no sugar. You can do it. Two weeks. I love sugar. Yeah. And, then, and so when you, when you eat the sugar... Is that why sometimes I have bad breath, you think? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's why I chew gum all the time. If you made it to the end of the video, guys and girls, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more.